Hello everyone, Gabe here from Ubisoft, and welcome back to the November edition of Last Month in PC. This month we were treated to some new news from AMD as well as Logitech, and we definitely haven't been quiet here at Ubisoft as we head into the winter holidays. But without any other delay, let's get to it. Back in 2018, Microsoft released the Xbox Adaptive Controller. It aims to meet the needs of those with limited mobility to make sure that they can enjoy the latest games. It acts as a hub to connect to external devices to create a customized controller experience for every individual user. Continuing that trend, Logitech have now released the Adaptive Gaming Kit, which includes 12 buttons and triggers that can be connected to the Xbox Adaptive Controller to fully customize the control experience. The Logitech Adaptive Controller is available now for around $100 from the Logitech website, and the Xbox Adaptive Controller is available from the Microsoft Store for about the same $100. Twitch Studio is now available to everyone in an open beta. The program is designed to help potential streamers get started by streamlining the setup process. While most streamers use third-party streaming programs such as OBS, Twitch aims to simplify the process by providing its own tools. A guided process will automatically detect your hardware and adjust your stream settings to optimize them to help your stream look and sound great. The tool also includes templates and built-in alerts to get you started. You can download the Twitch Studio open beta from their website right now. The third generation Threadrippers have arrived. Two new products are available, the 24-core 48-thread 3960X and the 32-core 64-thread 3970X. If that's not quite enough, AMD have also announced the 3990X with 64 cores and a whopping 128 threads that is coming in 2020. Both come with AVX2 support, better megahertz performance, a more unified memory solution, PCIe 4.0 support, and more PCIe lanes and faster DRAM. Benchmarks are now available which show very strong results in multi-threaded programs delivering high performance in the high-end desktop market. Again, while not designed primarily for gaming and considering that these are priced at $1,400 and around $2,000 for the 3960X and 3970X respectively, you shouldn't really be taking these into consideration if you're building a gaming rig, given that there are also multiple cheaper alternatives that can deliver more performance for your games. Continuing our swim through the pool of AMD news, the Ryzen 9 3950X is also available. The CPU features 16 cores and 32 threads with a base clock of 3.5 GHz and a turbo clock of 4.7 GHz. That brings this to the top of the Ryzen 3000 consumer lineup. Benchmarks are available now and in the multi-threaded application workloads, the 3950X is a powerhouse, beating out most of Intel's mainline CPUs. Yet in gaming, the 3950X falls slightly behind any recent i7 or i9 CPU. This may not be primarily a gaming CPU, but it competes with the HEDT processors in multi-threaded applications while also outperforming them in gaming at much lower prices. This is not a CPU for everyone, but if you're looking for something that can deliver at high multi-threaded workloads, but still offer high performance in gaming, then it might be for you. The Ryzen 9 3950X is available now for around $750. Make sure you check out some benchmarks if that sounds interesting to you. Next up we have Asus who have revealed a new headset that uses AI technology to reduce unwanted sound in the microphone. This noise cancelling algorithm has been trained on a database of over 50 million records for tens of thousands of hours. Asus claims that it will counteract 95% of background noise including keyboard clicking and other people talking. The headset uses a 2.4 GHz wireless connection with a 25 hour battery life. For maximum compatibility, a USB-C wireless dongle is included with a USB-A adapter along with a 3.5mm audio cable. The Asus ROG Strix GO 2.4 is available in December for around £160. Now over to some Rainbow Six Siege news where Operation Shifting Tides was pushed onto the technical test servers in November as it gets ready for its imminent deployment on the live servers. Shifting Tides brings two new operators, Kali with her LV Explosive Lance and Wamai with the Mag Net system. The theme park will also be returning as it undergoes a rework, some of the changes including removing the rail platform area and a remodeling of the building. A new limb penetration model will also be introduced, including three different types of penetration, none, simple, and full. Full penetration allows shots to go through an operator and hit another one behind them. Each weapon will fall into one of these penetration categories, and you should definitely check out their blog post for all the information. 
There's plenty more coming, including an elite set, weapon skins, operator balancing, and a bunch of general tweaks and improvements. Be sure to check out the patch notes for more information. You should also check out the designer's notes for more information and the intentions from the team around the upcoming balancing changes. Now let's head over to Motor Nation where Blazing Shots, the latest free update for the Crew 2 is now available. The new update brings new vehicles, events, customization options, and much more. Make sure to head over to their patch notes for the full rundown. The For Honor Year 3 Season 4 update is live, and with it comes some new heroes, maps, and other fixes and improvements. The Zanhu are masters of artillery, and the deadly Shangdao, a long, single-edged blade. In combat, they use a combination of dodges and counterattacks to beat their opponents. Zhang Pass is the new map, a grand fortress constructed by Wu Lin in a narrow pass. Be sure to check out the full patch notes for more information and the list of balancing changes and improvements. It's been a big month for the Ghost Recon Breakpoint team that brought in two new title updates, new missions, and the first four player raid. The title update brought many fixes, improvements, new features, and cosmetic options. Be sure to check out the 1.0.3 and the 1.0.3.1 patch notes for the full rundown. Two new missions are also available, a deadly trap that has you helping homesteaders to prepare and gather enough supplies to survive a viral attack, and whistleblower has you aiding a bunch of potential rebels to escape and reach the outcasts. Project Titan, the first 4 player raid in Ghost Recon Breakpoint is now live as well. Gather your squad and assault Gollum Island where you can find a military research unit that specializes in creating experimental drones. A faction of wolves called the Red Wolves have taken over the facility and a self-learning AI which now works to their advantage. You have received intel about 4 lethal prototype drones in final development. Your mission is to find and destroy these drones before they can reach full production. Project Titan is free to all Ghost Recon Breakpoint players with the only requirements being that you have to have 150 gear score and a full squad of four players. And that about wraps up the news for last month. As always, if you have any questions or feedback that you want to see on future videos, please let us know down in the comment section. But until next time, see you later.